Hey guys, this is Balu and today in this video, I will show how we can create this kind of ghost animations using cloth physics in Blender easily. So hope you guys will find the video useful and without any further delay, let's start today's video. So here I'm using Blender 4.0, nice. So first of all, let's clear this default scene by pressing A on the keyboard and delete. Now let's import our animated character. So here I will be using this Mixamo, just create an Adobe account, log in using that account and after that, select any of the character you like so here i have selected this character now come to the animations and look for walk animations so from here i will select this animation just simply click on the animation and it will be loaded onto the character so enable this in place option and let me reduce this override so that i will get this slow motion and also i will reduce the increase the arm spacing so after that just click on this download button and format let it be fbx and the frames per second let it be 30 and click on this download so once the download is completed now let's import our character so go to this file import it is an fbx file so select this fbx and locate the file so here i got the file just click on this import fbx so here you can see we got the character now let's increase the scaling so select the armature press s and increase the scaling here so i think this much is fine so here if i play this you can see we got the animation and here the animation is only of like 48 frames so here i want to make this animation throughout the timeline so for that come to this space here press a to select all the keyframes shift e and select this make cyclic option so now the animation will be looping throughout the timeline and also here i will increase the timeline to 350 frames and if you want to still reduce the speed of the animation come to the first frame press a to select all the keyframes now press s on the keyboard and increase the distance between the keyframes. So now let's animate the position of the character. So come to the starting frame here and let's place the character here. Now press I on the keyboard, B on the first frame, press I on the keyboard, add a keyframe for location. Now let's move to the last frame here and let's bring our character a bit further. I think this much is fine. So press I once again and add a keyframe for location. Now if I play this, we will get the animation, but the speed is not constant. So come to this space here, press A to select all the keyframes, press T and select this linear. So now if you play this, you can see the speed is constant, but this character is sliding. So let's come to this position and let's place this here. Now press I once again and add a keyframe for location. Now let's check this. So this is a bit better. So now let's see how we can add cloth onto this character. Go to this add mesh, select a plane here now increase the scaling press s and increase the scaling here so I, I think this much is fine press 7 for top view and let's rotate the cloth so select this rotate tool hold control key and rotate in 5 degree angle here now let's place the plane here a bit just above to the character press 1 for front view and let's place this just above to the character and i think we need to increase the scaling a bit so increase the scaling a bit so i think this much is fine now being selected this plane press tab key for edit mode or else you can change it from here now right click subdivide now come to the subdivide options expand it and number of cuts i will increase this to 65 and again press tab key to exit this edit mode so now we need to make this plane follow the character so for that go to this add come to this armature select this single bone if you're not finding this single bone go to this edit preferences come to this add-ons and here look for rigify so by default this will be disabled enable it save the preferences and close it now go to this add armature you will get that option before adding this bone let's get this origin point at this place so shift s and select this cursor to select it now you can see it is moved to this position now we can add the bone so go to this add armature single bone okay so you can see we got the bone now select the plane, select the armature, which is bone, single bone. Now control P and select the bone option. So now if I select the bone and if I move, you can see the plane is also moving. Nice. So now we need to parent the bone to the character's armature. So we got the armature for character. So come to this options, view display and infinite. So we got a skeleton for the character also. So we need to parent this bone to the skeleton of the character, that too for this head bone. So let's select the armature and change this to pose mode. Select this bone and let's check the name. So come to this bone and here you can see we got the name as Mixmo Rig 1 Head. So remember that one. Now 
select this bone let's place this just above to the character so i think this is fine now press tab key for edit mode or else you can change it from here select the bone once again come to this object constraints add object constraint and select this child of so in target we need to select the armature of our character so this is the armature of our character and in bone we need to select the head bone so let's select this head bone you can see we got the head bone right select it and here the plane has moved to some other position in order to fix that one simply click on this set inverse now we got the plane on its position so let's change this to object mode and if i play this now the plane will be moving along with the character now let's apply cloth onto this plane so select the plane come to this physics property add cloth and here in presets i will select the cotton so now if i play this you can see the cloth is falling down it is not following the character so in order to fix that first we need to select some vertex so press 7 for top view now being selected this plane press tab key for edit mode and let's select a vertex which is at the top of the character so let's enable this extra vision so here let's select this fourth vertex here so select this vertex here this is at the top of our character now come to this object data properties and click on this vertex group plus icon and let's change this as head pins and click on this assign button that means we have assigned this four vertex onto this head pins so again press tab key to exit this edit mode or else you can change it from here now being selected this cloth let's disable this extra vision now being selected this plane come to this physics property scroll down here we got this shape option right expand this shape option and in pin group we need to select the group which i created select this head pin and now if i play this the cloth will be following the character so here we need to enable few options so here you can see the cloth is not colliding with the character and it is also colliding with the itself so in order to fix that let's apply collision property onto this character so let's hide this armature first hide the armature and also let's hide this armature also now select the character mesh come to this physics property add collision so after that select the plane scroll down here also we will get the collision properties so expand this collision enable this self collision option and quality steps i will increase this to 5 and i think this much is fine so now if i play this you can see the cloth is colliding with the character and it is also not penetrating through itself nice so here right click and shade smooth and also come to this modifier options and add smooth modifier come to this deform and add smooth modifier and increase the repeat value here a bit so i think 10 is looking good so we got that smooth surface so now let's bake this simulation so select the plane come to this physics property scroll down so here you can see we got this catchy option so here the simulation is set to 1 to 250 but our timeline is of 350 frames so i'll increase this to 350 and after that click on this bake all button so here the bake is done i have baked only 250 frames that is enough to check this one so if i play this you can see we got our cloth simulation done properly so now let's add a ground plane here so shift s and set this cursor to world origin so that we get the cursor here now go to this add mesh select a plane press s and increase the scaling now press s y and increase the scaling in y axis so i think this much is fine and let's increase the scaling x axis also so let's save the project so now let's move on to this render viewport here so here the scene is looking dark because there is no light in the scene so come to this world properties and color let's change this to black and here let's add light now so come to this starting frame here now go to this add light add this area light so here we got the light so press s and increase the scaling and intensity i will increase this to 500 now let's place the light here now press one for front view and let's rotate the light so i think let's rotate this here and place the light so that it is facing our character so i think this is fine let's increase the intensity to 750 so now let's bring back the plane armature so this is the single bone right let's bring that one so first select the light and let us select the bone now control p and select this keep transform option so now if i play this the light will be moving along with the character nice so here let's change the light color so here i will use this blue so i think this much is fine so now select the light shift d to duplicate it now press x and place this here 
and press one for front view and let's rotate this in this angle and i think let's place this behind and let's change the color to red and intensity i will increase this to 850 so now both the lights will follow the character so now let's add another light in the front so again select the light here shift d press x and let's rotate this in this way let's place the light in front of the character so for this i will be changing this to white color and i will reduce the intensity to 350 let's place this here okay so i think this is fine so now all the three lights will be following the character so now let's add some material onto this ground plane so select the ground plane so here i will be using this blender kit to get the textures and by the way blender kit is free to download so come to these textures and look for ground textures so here we got the texture so i click on the image it will be loaded here so here you can see we got the texture but it is not proper so press tab key for edit mode press a to select all the vertex u select the smart uv project and okay so now this is a bit stretched up now let's fix that so go to the shading option and press tab key to exit that edit mode now come to the mapping mode here and let's increase the scaling in y axis and if you want you can increase the scaling in x axis also so i think this much is fine now let's increase the displacement value where is the strength so here you can see we got the normal node just increase the strength of this normal so if i move out of this layout once again you can see we got our material here nice so now let's see how we can add camera in the same so now go to this add come to this camera now control alt 0 to see through camera now press n on the keyboard come to this view option and lock the camera to 3d cursor and camera so now we can adjust the position of our camera so beyond the first frame select the camera make sure the camera is selected now press i on the keyboard add a keyframe for location rotation and scale also so here the simulation is only for 250 frames right so i will move to 240 frames now come to this object properties and let's change this y value here so i think this much is fine and now again add a keyframe by pressing i on the keyboard and select this location rotation and scale so now we got our cloth simulation done and in render if you don't want to have this character visible you can hide this out or you can delete this one if you want to hide this out in render select the character so this is the character right here we got this render visibility so disable this renders visibility and also visibility in viewport so now we won't get that character visible in the render so in this way we can create these cool animations using cloth simulation in blender easily so hope you guys have learned something new from this tutorial if you have learned anything new please like share and subscribe my channel to support me so i'll meet in the next video until then signing off take care bye